friends, part three of the story and I am yet to land a single transfer target. I cannot get a deal over the line by hook or by crook. I'm so bad at closing a deal, I couldn't even get Harry Redknapp to park outside and give an interview through his car window. It's awful. I'm going to need your help, guys. It's building a franchise, the MK story. Called your number, but you're not home. Lonely nights by the telephone. I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting for you. Right then, guys, we'll start on the transfer target page. As you can see, I've got a number of targets in mind, a number of targets I'm trying to get at least over the line. Only one of them would be great. In fact, no, two of them, because one of them is Frank Musa, and he is an out-of-agent, out-of-agent, out-of-contract player who I'm just about to sign. He can play anywhere behind the striker and also left midfield. Some fairly decent stats, I'm sure you'll agree. Been around Charlton, Coventry and Leicester, and I thought, you know what? If I can't sign at least the player I want, just sign somebody. It was kind of a panic buy. Don't panic! Don't panic! Right. Don't, don't panic! You're all right! <laughs> I'm in charge now, I'm in charge now. Now don't, don't pack that. Hopefully it'll work out. Now in terms of our central midfield, well, as you all know, I'm going for a boss box midfield plan. And that kind of leaves me with the remainder. What you see there is what I'm trying to bring in. Luke Berry is a 23 year old ball winning midfield player from Cambridge. I'm trying to get him over the line. I'm failing horribly. If I can't get him, well, I'm trying to get Alex Gilby, 20, from Colchester, a ball-winning midfield player. If not Alex Gilby, well, Jake Hessen-Tyler, 21 years of age, a central midfield player. If not any of those three, Matt Palmer, maybe, 22. Central midfield player again, this time from Burton. Can you see a theme emerging here, guys? They're all young players. I'm sticking with that ethos of bringing a young squad through and playing the right way. Maybe Jack Payne, a guy who in real life has just moved to Huddersfield. Good passing ranges. If I could bring him in, really excited. But unfortunately so far, computer says no. Maybe Dominic Reed, an out of agent player. I'm going to give a trial to. No attributes there to show you. No idea if he's any good, but he's out of a contract. And I thought, well, if I can't sign anybody, let's try and bring somebody in on a, on a free. And last but not least, Josh Scowan. As you can see, 22 years of age, great scout reports, great looking attribute ranges. But can I sign him? Can I, Ick? And there we go. So those are our transfer targets. I am desperate, and I mean desperate, guys, to sign at least one of those that's not out of contract, okay? As I really am keen on trying to improve that central midfield area. Now, in terms of our results, well, we played two games the last time you were with us. We beat Barnet. 4-0, but D-Jams, Barnet, 4-0. Completely outclassed them in the end. Raziak, Revel, Ruzolo and Bonic scoring the goals there. And unfortunately, the following week, Abdul Razak turned from hero to flipping zero. We lost 1-0. Razak got sent off. And in the end, their pressure capitalised and they punished us. So in the league, we've got one point. We've let four goals in, conceded three. Mm. Not good. So, today's game is Bolton. Bolton, as it turns out, are actually sitting in 7th. But it's far too early for any of that league nonsense, or certainly league position nonsense. We've drawn Bournemouth in the second round of the Capital One Cup. So I'm going to bring that to you live, guys. That's a big game. A really big game. I'm excited at that prospect of that cup run. I really am. So, without further ado, let's do the Bolton game. As you can see, guys, 4-2-3-1 today, not the normal 4-4-1-1. Martin Little, Spence, Walsh, Lewington, Potter, Carruthers, back from injury, fantastic. Emmanuel Thomas, Reeves, Murphy and Revo. Unfortunately, no Razak, he's obviously out suspended. And obviously Hall is, uh, or, or can't play because he's his parent club. Bolton's team is, is a 4-3-2-1, very narrow. Zach Clough, one to watch out for there. Really decent striker at this level. I want to win today, boys. So, yeah, I'll go with that. Encourage them. Come on. Get the win today, boys. Come on. Moxie. Floats the ball in. Headed away by Spence. Murphy's after it. Josh Murphy on loan from Norwich. Forward it goes. Into Rev Elb. It's cut away. There's Spence, though. Out to Emmanuel Thomas. Emmanuel Thomas will have little on the overlap. Will he use him? No, he won't. Emmanuel Thomas into the middle. Shoots. What the hell was that? Another free kick. Forward it goes to Wilson. Wilson cuts it back. Davis. Trotter. Good tackle by Carruthers. Carruthers dispossessed. Here's Spearing. Jay Spearing out to Wilson. Wilson puts the ball in the box. Headed away. Trotter's there. Trotter will shoot. 
Good save by Martin. Corner ball. Heading towards half time here. Nil nil. Can we hold on? Davis. He'll float the ball in. Near post. Headed away by Thomas. Referee was wave play on. No idea why. That's either a foul for me or a foul for them. It's a foul for those a penalty. It's a foul for me. It's my free kick. We can get the ball. Anyway, nil nil. Half time. A little less exciting than the first game. I'm going to be aggressively and far from pleased. We're a much better team than we're showing. They know it, I know it, and you know it as the viewership. Let's come on, boys. Okay, heading towards the 70th minute mark here. We've only had four shots compared to their 14, but it's still nil-nil. Going to flip it up slightly. I'm going to bring Giorgio Ruzolo on to play behind the striker. And I'm going to bring Dean Bowditch on to play wide right as a winger. Um, just to see if that can't change a little bit of our fortunes. See if we can't nick a goal to win the game. We haven't even bossed possession stats. And we're on retained possession. Brilliant. Okay, so heading towards the 90th minute here, still nil-nil. Wilson, up the line to Heskey, Emil Heskey, inside to... I'm going to try and say that, sir. And great tackle from Walsh, though. He picks up the loose ball, spearing. He's in! Oh, it's a penalty. Oh, my. In the last minute of the game, it's a penalty. And he's been sent off. Who is it? Oh, it doesn't really matter, does it? Let's face it, it doesn't actually matter. Penalty in the last minute of the game. Literally, there's 30 bleeding seconds left. And now he's out for three games as well. Moxie steps up. Scores 1-0. And that's the game. Three games in, one point. Where it's on a player. Then we've got a win. Good penalty to be fair. The postage stamp. A really good penalty. That's it. That's your lot. 1-0. As you can see, guys, I definitely need your help. You've seen my transfer targets. You've seen how I'm failing in the transfer market. So I need you. The greatest scouts the FM world has ever seen. Do you know of any central midfield players that would come to a championship club for a value of zero to 150,000 and would fit with our ethos of trying to build a young, talented squad? If you do, please leave your comment in the comment section and I will try and sign or certainly scout those players. It's probably too late for this transfer window, but I'm already armed and ready to go in January. Now, as always, if you've liked this episode, please hit the like button, reshare it, tweet it out, tell the human world about building a franchise, the MK story. If you want to follow the journey, then please hit the subscribe button. But until next time, I'm the home dressing room. You've been absolutely amazing. Get searching, get leaving a comment, and I'll talk to you all very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.